What's going on Legionnaires? I am back today with another video and today I have a special one at that. In my previous video I spoke on the top 5 reasons to play New World. On one of my points though I made a comment that Fields needs to be brought forth. Many people are begging for mounts. Some are worse than a thirsty thought in my DMs but they just can't get enough. It made me think of other games though. What can New World do to appease a scraggly crowd of savages? Those that thirst only for mounts to make their lives easier, while the vast majority of player base don't believe that mounts are currently needed at this point of time, and I side with them, the map isn't big enough for there to be mounts on currently. However, when the game expands, then what? We already know from data mine info that there's a large territory coming up eventually, or better, potentially another continent. I would assume that eventually we may need them to traverse great distances without burning our Azov all the time. So here's where we get to the meat and bones of the question of mounts. Do we need them currently and will we need them later on? Simply put, yes and no. Right now we do not need mounts and I don't think we will for some time after the DLC release. However, I would state that after a year or so or some time after that makes most of this running around seem redundant, we will. Mounts are almost a necessity in today's gaming industry. Although they seem to function around cosmetic and other purchase happy things, Mounts have become a staple in many MMOs. We don't need dragons or sparkling unicorns running around to turn them, but a creature or five may not be so much of an issue. Assuming it doesn't turn into something crazy, but maybe that's the point, right? Maybe we need something crazy to happen. So crazy that it fits into the lore of animals and humans alike. Most animals weren't domesticated right away anyways, right? So what if Amazon took a bike from the Ark gameplay and allowed you to tame creatures? Not all at once, but something to scale like they do with tanning and skinning. At first you get a horse. Maybe it goes a tenth faster than human walk. Not enough to really notice, but enough to speak about. You give it a little bit of a sprinting ability to reach about a third extra a human runs at a trot. Or you power clip the ability and get two times the amount, however it drains your stamina bar substantially. Next would be a boar or deer or elk. This one is more for giggles, but honestly, it's at least a mount. You don't get any major boost from running, however you get a harvesting boost of 10 plus levels depending on the level and the entity. It would scale and give a 5% increase in harvesting level when combined with your player and creature level. Wolves are up next, whom does run faster than a horse at one fifth extra of a human, but it has the ability to give you a skinning or hunting boost, something that would scale like a boar. Following the wolves would be alligator. I have to believe this one be extremely difficult because of the type of animal. However, the alligator gives no running boost, but it does allow you to swim for a little. This way we can introduce swimming into the game as well. Finally would be bears. Bears would give a slight run boost, but nothing major. Instead, it would give you a fishing boost and a greater chance at catching rare fish. This could include treasure chest and the like, but not enough of a boost to potentially ruin fishing totally. That's it with the natural animals that are part of a turnum. Now comes the fun ones. The lost, corrupted, and blight should not be considered tameable. The angry earth could work. More specifically, the wolves and bears of the selected. The elk could also be included, but for the sake of the better two, we will stick to the bear and the wolf. These creatures would provide a boost to wood cutting and mining. The angry earth wolves can be chopped at like wood at 100 logging and need at least that to tame them. Same goes with the bear, except it's regarding mining. These two would provide a huge boost to those particular skills. Something at that skill level should allow bigger boosts to take place, albeit I should not be able to make that call. The only downside is that you should only be able to tame one creature at a given time. Any more and it resembles something like Blessed Unleashed, where you're giving multiple mounts for no reason. As you increase the skill level, the amount allowed should also be increased from 1 per 50 levels or 1 per 100 level. This way you have to do whatever you can to retain the animal. Also, if your tame falls to battle, you would have to tame another creature, ensuring retaining which you would like. If you wish to change out tames, either release the animal and it returns to the original spot that you tamed it, or kill the creature for resources. However, if you kill that creature, it should make retaming that creature more difficult in the future. Such as if you tame an elk and level up to where you can tame a wolf and you want to release the elk, it becomes easier for you to retain. On the flip side, if you kill it, you make it harder to tame the creature the next time you want one. Each of the creatures will require a specific bait that they may or may not accept. The higher the level, the more difficult the bait would be. Deer gets flowery, bears get berry, wolves get a meat bait, bears get a fishy bait, angry earth wolves get a wood and azoth combo, bears also get a ore and azoth combo, so forth and so on. Each becomes rarer and harder to get. Specific items are required from specific creatures, and any kind of boss that that creature gets also auto drops that bait that is needed. 
This is of course concept, yet a new skill like this would make those that are already deep into the game hunt for certain kinds of items and train even more skills to pass time. It's hard to argue with the business standpoint of it. I can only imagine it'd be crazier with new creatures added into the expansions. Anyway guys, that's where I leave up the rest of theory and hypothesis. I would hope that this video gave you a feel of the potential that New World has in its grasps. I want to believe that something like this could be a major potential to the game. It would give so much variety and longevity to the gameplay as well. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. I'll respond to all that I see. If you have any points to add, leave those as well. Like the video if you love any New World theory, and subscribe for more videos that are coming your way. Thanks guys, I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.